Hmm, is it just me? But is everyone acting very weird lately? Oh, what do you mean by that? Well, you see... Uh, huh? Oh, don't mind me. Just passing by. Move along. Stupid pig, this is the worst. I hate this life. Why is it so slow? Uh, anyways, well, you see... Hey, guys! Have you heard of the amazing pearlescent moon? If gem is great, Ito slab, pearl is amazing. Yeah, this is getting real weird. Oh, uh, uh, hi, Ito. Big fan. Um, is it okay for me to hang around and, you know, be like best, I mean, good friends or something? Oh, uh, speaking of something, do you need something? Um, I was just thinking about doing my task and stuff and... Oh, hi Lizzie! Can I have a cow? Cows? Well, what will you give me in return? Well, um, how about this young lad right here? Wait, sure thing! Now, young lad, can you gather some gravel for me? Hmm, that seems like normal Ito behavior to me. Hey, B-Dubs! You look amazing and tall today! So amazing, we even made your own room! Tall? Oh my, thank you! Uh, wait, 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 is that really you, Ito? Yup, I'm just a little quirky, you know. Now, let's go to your room! <clears throat> so, you showing the way, or... Uh, oh, it's nothing, I just, you know, want you to look away or something. <laughs> I mean, I want you to go in first! Yes, lead the way! See? Even Ito is acting weird. Hmm, I guess you're right. The secret task made us go crazy. I mean, just look at Pick B! Ito. Yep, that confirms it. What you guys doing? I'm here with my friend Torchy. Say hi to everyone, Torchy. What the heck? So yeah. Secret life. And now, everyone's acting very weird in these last four sessions. Cleo and a pig, Joel falling, Grian panicking, Ito slab, Jam is great, Tango and his imaginary friend Torchy, Mumbo doing mumbo things, Martin yeeting, Jimmy dying, beat up spogging, the website hit the fly, and it is so merch! And then, there's Big B. Anyways, after some people became reckless in duration of these sessions, there are now yellow and red lives in the server, which added to the new twists in the whole secret task concept. Yellow lives now have the power to suss out the secret tasks of others, limiting it to one guess per person. This means that other people, especially the greens, have to hide their tasks from the yellows and take caution when conducting the task itself. Red lives, on the other hand, are typically viewed in the live series as very aggressive and just eliminates everyone on sight. But this time around, red lives are somewhat tame this season, but with the added twist of having tasks that revolves around damaging other people. And just to add to the chaos, when seeing someone, they gain 10 hearts, and also they basically have unlimited tasks, so they can complete as many tasks as they want to. New rules aside, the server in the last four sessions have been building up their alliances and groups with one another, forming great factions that will help in surviving in this life series. Starting with our first faction, we have the Heart Foundation. This faction involves Tango, Skiz, and their newest member, Big B. This group, residing in the lake north of the Secret Keeper, have been building up their love island in the shape of a heart. Why the heart? Well, this heart represents their foundation that they are planning to do to survive and build connections in the series by doing this charity work of gifting hearts. Using this incredible redstone machine, the Heart Foundation is picking out a person every session in this randomizer to declare the winner of their heart gifts. Their main goal in doing this is to have people back them up in times of need and also build up their alliances in the process. So far, they managed to give out their hearts to Ito, Lizzie, and Grian. Hey, Klebert! On a pig? Why you on a pig? Um, <clears throat> remember session one? Yeah, we were bonding that time. But then, you left us for Ito. You broke my heart. 
and I will break your legs. Hey, yo, chill. Our next faction is the Rumis, residing in their abode northeast of the server. This group initially comprised of Ito and Cleo, who were in bad terms last season in limited life when they have their kids around. And now when the kids are gone, oh, uh, am I not supposed to be here? I'm totally not clinging with Ito or something, haha. <laughs> I'm leaving. And now when the kids are gone, their relationship became much stronger, forming an unbreakable bond that it makes you think that these chaotic kids were the problem all along. With this, they peacefully resided in this humble hole, building up their cliffside base, people doing their weekly Ito patronage, and doing some Hello! Mind if I be your roomies with you guys? I have no friends, my life is in shambles, my base is bad, so I burnt it. My eggs looks miserable, so I'll probably burn it soon. And now, I have nowhere to go. Whoa. Well, just promise me not to burn this base, okay? Yup. So about burning things, want to do it now? Well, sure thing. So, Guyen, for the longest time, together with Scar and Lizzie, had been living alone in their bases, with no friend groups, no allies, and just being miserable in general. Imagine having no friends. Couldn't be me. Joel, we are literally married! And so, he went on into this journey of allying with people like Scar, but he remembered his traumatic experiences with him previous seasons that he went on a detour and made a journey of allying with Ito and Cleo, forming a three-person group. Speaking of trees, our next faction is the Gem and the Scots, the Scottish Core or the Cherry Blossoms of the Cherry Mountain, northwest of the server. This group is composed of Gem, who besides being known as a Gem is great, she is also known for her Cottage Core branding. Scott, who is always one of the last survivors in the live series, and Impulse, SV. Hi. With their great powers combined, they're one of the stacked groups in the server. Having a nether portal, a complete enchanter setup, a zombie farm for XP, and a high vantage point overlooking the server from above. These things enabled them to be frequently visited by other players in the server, granting access in their portal, trading resources, and building alliances. Speaking of alliances, Jem in the fourth session was able to raise an army to convince people to slay the Ender Dragon, which prompted a lot of attention in the server, which coincidentally aligns with B-Dub's hard task of slaying the Ender Dragon. Speaking of B-Dub's, he is the founder of the Mounders group, who resides in the center of the server. There are four people group who belong to the Round Mound cult, which is founded by Joel for his task. This group, composed of B-dubs with his globe on a mound, Mumbo in a horizontal mound, Joe with a halter skelter on a mound, and Pearl in his natural habitat on a mound. They seem to act as a neighborhood community who have a shared interest in the beauty and existence of the mounds. So how did you end up here again? And lastly, our last faction is Down the Mesa. Southeast of the server, the big dogs in their shack. This two-person group, composed of Martin who have been acting very reckless recently, and Jimmy who has his tendency, or curse, of dying first. And with their powers combined, they are now red. Yay! Oh wait, how did they end up being red? Well, first of all, they're also the first yellows in the server. Yay! And as yellows, they have the ability to suss out everyone's task and have been building this spy network in identifying secret tasks of other people. At first, things were going well. But then, they have this funny idea of seeing the Ender Dragon kill cause, you know, it's fun right? And they were so excited at the thought that Martin pressed forward way too hard, eating himself to the void and Jimmy being eaten by the Ender Dragon themselves. With this, they are now Reds. And as Reds, the server will have much tension in the next upcoming sessions. With the server now having Reds, players now become wary of their presence and started to build up their gear and defenses. 
The emergence of the Reds from the Dog Shack made the Greens and Yellows to fortify their bases and basically went into distance mode when interacting with the Reds. But unlike anyone, Scar, with no allegiance to any faction, has been acting the wild card of the server. Using his own skills of trading and insane charisma made him formulations through trade. Using his trade contracts of the Diamond Diplomacy, this allowed Scar to be bodies with the Reds and individuals from other factions. Unlike Scar, Lizzie has no trade relations, no allies to rely from, and she's basically lonely in her pumpkin house with the occasional visits from its husband, Joel. Having no allies proved fatal for her as she was unable to successfully do her hard task of convincing everyone to sleep the night away with her scheme of having a slumber party in her base when no one except Joel attended her party. With this, she basically went kinda mad, went around the server with no armor, riding a horse which ended up getting her killed when approached by Jimmy who suddenly attacked, making her red.